Yeah, I did Commando Uncorruptible, and I guess now I'm gonna do some mastery attempts and hope that I can, like, not want to die. Um, I won't be using Command, but I will be using Sacrifice, um, Kin, and Swarms. Actually, I'll take off Swarms. I'll just do Sacrifice and Kin. Um, I'm going to be putting on the phase round because there's always a billion enemies and they're all lined up. Let's get into the first run. And I'm going to be going for Obliteration. Instead of going for um, Mythrix. Okay, the things I really have to watch out for are the frozen enemies and the fire trails left behind by the blazing enemies. Because they are seriously damaging. I'm gonna get some items. Yep. Fire damage. See, I should probably move over. I'm glad I got Lumerians and not something really dangerous like uh, Stone Golems, or I guess Wisps would probably suck really bad for me, as I am just bad at killing Wisps. Alphonor coin. I sort of wish that they did what they did in Risk of Rain 2, or Risk of Rain 1, how like the little barrels could give you health too. I thought that was really cool in Risk of Rain 1. Alright, let's head for the teleporter. I only have a topaz brooch, and I mean, it's not a bad item, but I would like some more items so that I don't die too early. That was just terrible. AP rounds, not bad. Will definitely help. I mean, just straight up damage increases are nice. Oh, and I. F that's the scrapper right there. Is that a. What printer is that? Goat hoof printer? Not bad. If I get some extra white items that I don't want, I will scrap them and I'll turn them into goat hoofs. Just so I can run away faster, I guess. Man, movement in this game is really necessary. Oh, there's an even closer one. That's way good. Um. I do forget a lot of the time that phase round can go through terrain, which is actually pretty nice, honestly. Ooh, a stun grenade. I might turn that into a goat hoof because if I want to stun something, I can use the uh, my R1, my uh, my slick little barrage attack, because that stuns them.
sort of do wish I had a little bit more uh, stacks of bleed because it's not really stacking that well Maybe I'll activate the teleporter and not be in the charging area just to get the increased spawns and I can start taking out the MOS. Okay, overloading Lumerians are pretty dangerous honestly because of that that it just did. They are rather pointy. Probably, oh, yep, I gotta run, like, now. I don't really have any way to heal. Propulsion armor plate. A fairly good item, I think. This is making me very anxious. Yep, and that's death, yep. <sighs> Overloading enemies. What if I... I haven't... Tried not no sacrifice in a while. I'm gonna try no sacrifice. Go back to some classic gameplay. Minus the fact that there's only one type of enemy. Oh, beetles, beetles. I like it when it's beetles. Oh, I should check if there's chests up here first before I start leaving. Nice, yeah. Oh, I will not say no to a soldier syringe. This is such a nice item to get early on. Just kill things faster. Especially on Commando, when his, uh, su his uh, suppressing fire is affected by fire rate, it is very strong with a lot of fire rate increases. Alright, yeah, let's head. How much? It's a healing chest and a normal chest. I'll see how much the healing chest is. 30? I'll be just a little bit short. But I got crit goggles, which are also good items at the start. And. A very nice healing item. Cautious Slug is very epic. 17 for the first hit of chance. I suppose that is normal. Man, try to have chances. I swear I get way better RNG on Risk of Rain 1 trying to have chance than I do in Risk of Rain 2. God. This game, I get almost nothing out of those. Okay, Harvester Scythe is not that bad, honestly. Pretty good. One, it increases my chance to crit, and I heal on crit too, which is. It's solid. Very solid. Um. Man, I love trying to ping stuff. So that's just a normal chest. And is that a printer? No, it's just two chests. I, I'll go get both of those chests after I check out. Uh, after I check out this side area. I 
So I bet you there's at least a chest in here. Oh yeah, but an equipment chest. And a normal chest. Alright. Oh yes. Backup mags. Let's see what equipment I get. Ocular HUD. It's with the Harvester Scythe, it's sort of like a super massive leech, minus the super massive part, so it's, I guess it's basically just a leech. What I mean, basically double damage for the duration, or whatever the modifier is. I think it's double. That's what my damage numbers are saying. Alright, let's see what I get out of these. Hmm, dang. I mean, with the nerf, Rusted Key just isn't that good anymore. Ooh, I'm really close to leveling up, so I'm not going to kill those guys right there. I'm going to kill them while I'm right here, so I can level up and get my War Banner drop right here, yep. I'm gonna get these dudes killed. I'm gonna head up and I can open like what? Four chests? Um, unless they're special chests like utility or damage or healing chests. So. Let's, let's see what we got over here. I'll check over here real quick just to make sure. Yep, okay, nothing over here, just just enemies. Shrine of Chance. I'm gonna see if there's any chests, and then after I open up all the chests, I'll go for chance shrines. Let's see. Nope, I guess I can safely hit the Shrines of Chance. No matter how many times I'll hit it. Wow. And a really good item, too. And a decent item. Nice, I'm actually pretty happy with how this run is going so far. Maybe I should play with Sacrifice off more often. I'll hit the Shrine of Chance until I get items, and then I'll do the boss fight, which is beetles. Repo armor, or personal shield generator. And volcanic egg. Dang. Volcanic egg just isn't that good. I talked about it in my last video, but... You just, every time I try to use it to get some damage in, I just die. Alright, let's activate this teleporter. Get my second war banner down. Come over on this side. Nice. Uh, 
Let's see what item I got after I clear out these overloading beetles. These are the only beetles that are sort of scary. ATGs. That is very nice. Yeah, ATGs are very cool. Pretty happy with my DPS right now, or at least the time to kill. Whew. 87 for a chest. And it's the Lumerians. Ooh. I will definitely take a Shrine of the Mountain. Oh my god. More Soldier Syringes. I mean, the more the merrier. It's just higher proc chance. Okay, fireworks are not that bad. I mean, we gotta pick it up. It's not like it's bad enough that I'm just gonna leave it. Ooh. Uh, choose your own thingy station. Let's see. Key, mystery, or mystery? I'm gonna choose mystery. And get 25 extra health. <sighs> I don't really like the change they made to the steak. I used to pick up steak a lot more like, I, I used to be a lot more happy when I picked up a steak. Because I liked the health regeneration boost after getting a kill. But now there's like, it's just 25 extra health, which I mean, that's good on some people. Like, I guess Huntress and I don't know, anyone who could use more health, so basically everyone. Or. But they they just made an item that was pretty decent to just not that good. It's like on glass runs I would pick up a, sta a stake or two because it was pretty good to have some health regen. But now there's no need because it just gives you like between two and two and a half. Or between, yeah, two and two and a half health. Or two, it'll give you two or three health, actually, because you can't get half a health. But yeah, sort of made me sad because I liked, I liked it. What is that printer? Topaz Brooch. Don't have one. Yep. Overloading. Of course it had to be the most scary variant. <laughs> Kill that guy.
Nice, okay. I think once I've done mastery, I'm going to grind out and get all the artifacts. And then I'll do mayo runs. Uh, just because, why not? Oh god, this could be the end of me, right here. Okay, getting some healing off thanks to the harvester sides. I feel a lot more safe. Okay, that was close. And I got a, a nice one. Oops. Not that bad. The nice one right next to the lockbox. And I'm not gonna say no to a leeching seed. I think it's a great item. Stack like five of them and then you got a nice steady increase of healing. Paired with some occasional proc chance of crits with the harvester scythe, and you can get a lot of healing just by shooting things. Let's see. Dang. Didn't really want a bungus. But, hey, anyway, <laughs> you can't tell, like, you can choose it on this kind of run. I'm gonna take a tougher times because I mean tougher times is just good. Just flat out chance to nullify attacks. Pretty good when things do a whole lot of damage. There's another one. I think that's a crowbar. It's either a crowbar or a bleed. If it's a bleed, I'm gonna grab it. Because bleed is very good. Yep. And then two stakes. Yeah, bleed for sure. spawn in some more dudes and just keep running. Um, let's find more chests. Got six bleed on that guy. I didn't even see this chest. Oh, and it had a nice item in it, too. Monster Tooth is, in my opinion, very good. Just when you get good amounts of healing for killing things, I think it's pretty good. I'm gonna explore up in these snowy caves for chests because I don't want to really miss out on anything. Ooh, and then there's three choose your item things over here. Okay. It's a barrel. Guess I'll take it. 
Ooh, a large chest. Large chests are very nice. Because they can give you some better items. Even though a squid polyp is not a better item. Uh, I mean, it's not like it's negatively impacting you. It's still does it. its job. I mean, it does it pretty good, too. The, ja the damage is actually quite solid. And he distracts enemies. So, squid turrets aren't all that bad. Did I open that? Uh-uh. How did I not open that? I was like right here. And it had a med kit in it. Hell yeah. See, I'm gonna go to grab those three items out of the, uh, the choosing stations. That's a chest right there. I'll grab it on the uh, way down. I'll love me a monster tooth. Stacking monster tooths, I think, is a... Monster teeth, I guess? Wait, monster? And that's always a good idea. And then I'll take one of these, because I don't really want a topaz brooch. And... Question mark. Oh, well, I guess it said never mind gives me topaz brooch anyways all right let me grab this chest actually I'll, I'll grab this barrel to spawn some fireworks kill some things then I will uh Grab this chest and probably do the boss fight. Oh yes, what an item. What a beautiful, beautiful item. Ukulele is so nice, I think. Okay, I just gotta make sure I'm careful with these glacial limps. Oh lord. See, let's get out over here. I almost died already. That close to the start of the teleporter. But hey, I survived the boss. I could still die to imps, but... There's not nearly as many. Oh, fuel cells. I would love a fuel cell. Nice. Man, having this extra phase round is really nice. I'll make sure to pick up more backup mags if I see them. Nice. Pretty good so far, pretty good so far. Like, what, about halfway? Little, little less, little more. Oh, and the legendary's in there. Okay, nice. But, it's mini mushrooms. Which I'm not too 
too fond of. 43.21. Okay, I'll save it for the legendary chest first, and then I'll go for other items. I'm glad I have even having just one tri-tip dagger for bleed is very nice with how much health these guys have. Okay. Man, mini mushrooms are pretty annoying. Oh god. Wow. That was a lot of damage. A lot of damage very, very quickly. If I did Enigma, that sounds pretty fun. And I'll do these two because I I kind of like them. Let's see how fun this run could be. But we did get Wisps, so I'm kind of scared. I'm not seeing any chests. This is weird. And that was a lot of fall damage. Oh, there's a chest. Thank God. Okay. This chest over here should be like. 25, so you can buy it and then get the inconsistency flower. Damn. This flower is. Oh god, I didn't even see those. That was honestly not really even worth 25 coins. I would, <laughs> I would literally pay like ten for a lepton daisy. Okay, medkits are kind of nice. Okay, I got the gong. I think the gong will be better than the uh, the ocular HUD for the boss fight. And then some crit goggles. Hell yeah. Two chests back here. That's pretty pretty good. More banner. I'm pretty close to leveling up, so I'm gonna go stand by the teleporter for a bit and kill things. 
Ooh, and there's uh, another chest back there. Okay, got that. Let me get this chest, and I'm gonna check for some more chests real quick. Oh, I do love the soda. Something that can help me run away really fast is really nice. Alright, I think I'm gonna do the boss fight now. I have my gong. And I could actually die right here, because overloading for wisps is very scary. Alright, I got the overloading ones. All that for a chronobobble? That's sort of mean. Man, a gasoline would be really nice for this. Oh, I can fire off some missiles and clear out these wisps. God. I could really use that. Oh, but I have gasoline, so friendly fire plus gasoline isn't a very good idea. I'm curious to see if I kill myself or not. Because I bet I will. Recycler. Hmm. See, I'll get a, I'll get an item and I'll recycle it. If it's a bad item, at least. If it's a good item, then well, I'll keep it. And this could also be fatal for me because it's freaking beetle guards and man, beetle guards got knockback bug still. They do a lot of damage. I'm gonna see what I get out of this. I'll make it even 160. Focus Convergence. I actually think that's a good blue item. I quite like it. I'll take a red whip. Because I don't hate movement speed. All right. Should open this so I can get some money. And what printer is this? Topaz Brooch. I'm gonna pass on that. But hey, I can get a uh, ut or support utility. That's what it is. It is called utility. Oh, propulsion armor. So good. Oh, and a fuel cell. It's sort of a weird thing to pick up on a. Uh, what's the thing. It's not Enigma. It's the one that I, I can't remember. I don't remember the name of the artifact, but it's 
pretty interesting on this artifact that changes my uh, my active item. Another utility that I can afford. Nice. And it looks like a stake printer. I'm gonna make sure. Damn. Yep. Flash grenade or stun grenade. I'm going to recycle this. I mean, repo arm or personal shield generator. I get them confused. Sorry, but I mean, it's pretty good, I guess. If I don't see any more really obvious chests, I might just go activate the teleporter. Oh, I should. I should kill some things so I can open up this chest. See, I don't know why the knockback still has to be bugged. Ow. Alright, I'm gonna find the teleporter. I bet I already passed it, which is sort of sad. No, I don't think I passed it. I don't think I found it yet. I just wanted that barrel, wow. And they go into a, a fight because they hit each other. I love this artifact. Artifact of friendly fire. I don't remember the names of the artifacts. That's just a problem I have, I guess. Okay, very stressful, very stressful. Oh, the teleporter is like over there. Hopefully I don't get like blazing or overloading. Everything else is probably okay. Actually, the blazing would probably make the fight easier because I have the uh, friendly fire artifact on. But overloading does not really make it easier. Unless they decide to just fight each other and not me. Then it makes the fight pretty easy. Do I get money for when they kill each other? No, I don't. Wow, that was actually a really nicely timed Leapt on Daisy, which is strange. And I mean, love armor. I mean, we got the focus convergence going for us. Charging up that teleporter slightly faster. I have hated myself really bad because I died as I was teleporting <laughs> to the next stage and I felt really bad, it was stupid.
But hey, the Marians and the teleporter is just down there. Alright, I'm gonna head down. See if there's a chest nearby. Right here. 129. Pretty expensive, but. You know, it's like 10 kills per chest, about. And that's not if they're killing each other. Mm, bleed, soda, or slug. I don't know, I might have to go for bleed, honestly. Okay, give me the bleed. Ow! I'm gonna pro pop the Jade Elephant. Just because, you know, armor is really good. And I mean, wowza. Ocean armor. Very nice, very nice. Armor is usually what I try to go for on uh, artifact of glass. Just because, like, damn. The less damage they can do, the less chance they have to insta kill you. Old War Stealth Kit. Um, not bad. Not bad at all. Basically, free runaway period when you're getting dumped on. <laughs> I'm just gonna use my thing now. Didn't mean to use my ocular HUD, but it's not like I was gonna find any use for that uh, portal, anyways. I think there's a dude behind me. Yeah. He's just throwing stuff at me from behind. Two of them. Okay. Got another chest here. And I got another bleed. That is worth it for sure. Run up here. There is more items to get. Hopu feather, nice. Gasoline, I'm probably going to buy that even though it's pretty risky on friendly fire artifacts. Just because you can kill yourself with gasoline. But I think it might be worth it. Because of that reason, I basically cleared out the entire group with nothing but one enemy. Now I need a few more, like three kills. <laughs> Too busy fighting each other to come and get me.
Another fuel cell. Man, I like fuel cell, honestly. This is good. I think there was one or two more chests, yeah. One here and then one over there. Infusion, nice. Basically a hundred health. And a leeching seed for healing. Alright, I'm gonna head over. Here, oh, there's another chest actually. Oh, and two things. Goggles, gasoline, I'm gonna take the gasoline. For a slightly bigger radius. I'm just having a freaking war down there. <sighs> okay. Grab this. And this. Another med kit. I like it. Okay, I don't want him to die to the bleed just yet. Oh my god, I set that perfectly. Because if I do it right, I can get that guy to freeze those dudes. Yep. Get some, some good damage in. Become an aspect of ice. I'm down. I don't get these very often. This one's pretty good, honestly. I. It's not the best one. It's definitely not the uh, overloading one. But, uh. I like it. Slow down some enemies. actually works really well with uh, I guess the build I'm trying to create try to get them to all freeze each other and stuff freeze each other shoot each other get slow so I can blow them up I've only ever gotten the uh, this one and the electric one, the yeah, overloading, not electric. But I've only ever got those two, and pretty glad. I think depending on how far I get, this might be my last run time-wise, running close to an hour. Um. Yeah. Whoa. What did I just take that much damage from? Oh, and the teleporter's right here. That's nice. Shrine of Chance. Oh, okay. The legendary is up here. For 4,000. Oh, there. <laughs> the 
they're really slow because I guess I forgot I had Chrono Bubble too. That's like double freezing or double slowing. It's cool, I guess. Not doing a lot of damage against these guys, though. Oh god. The old war stealth kit coming in. Making me invisible again. I'm gonna go with the pauldron. Okay, large chest, another chrono bobble. So something, mo something more about slowing. <laughs> really got to stack that bleed to get that DPS in, honestly. <laughs> he had thirty bleed before he died. Kill him. Nice. 4185. I think. Yeah, I can get it. Um. <laughs> wear a mask with a smile for hours at a time. Ouch. Two chests for two fifty two each. Deathmark and a quail. Deathmark might actually be valuable this run. Because I'm getting three debuffs just from shooting them. If I can get another debuff. Oh and if I get the uh the gasoline, the fire debuff. That'll count as four. Yeah, this could be pretty good. I need to remember that I have a uh, hobu feather. I forget a lot. Is that my third one? Yes. The more bleed, the better. Honestly. If I can proc bleed frequently, I can kill things way faster. Damn, I try not to get hit by that. Where was that thing? Right there. Let's see if I can get to it. <laughs> Don't know why I decided to go this way. Maybe because I thought it was cool. Squid. I'm gonna take the money book. Or, oh. Yes, it'll 
think I wanted the squid. Okay, I don't really care. It's one item. Boing. I'm gonna wait for this. Get some more area. Damn it, the fire guy's... Oh, no, he's got death marked, I think. He should have been. And now I'm on fire. And I can get an ATG missile, and they can fight to the death. Oh, that guy's death marked. That guy's death marked too. Yeah, I think it just wasn't death marking the uh, fire dudes because they physically couldn't catch fire. And I mean, I got my happiest mask working, which is good. I don't think I'll go through the teleporter immediately. I might hit that shrine of chance. I think I need to not forget that I can just kill those guys. Okay. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> Got a lot of squid turrets, though. That could be pretty good before a boss fight if you hit up a shrine of chance and then go into the boss fight. Or if there's a shrine of chance in the teleporter zone, you can get a bunch of squid turrets. Because I mean, more squid turrets is a lot of damage. Sky Meadow, and with an enemy that is pretty scary. Yep. I need to get these guys fighting. Yeah, there we go. There we go, then we can start getting some death marks and more fire. Oh, and I can get my brass contraption ghosts because of my happiest mask. Nice. I'm just gonna turn that real quick. I'm 
Oh no, he's death marked, so he takes what like quadruple damage or something. Something with a lot of it's a lot of damage. And I'll let these dudes fight it out for just a second. I don't want to go searching through the entirety of Sky Meadow for a few items. I might just go get the stuff that's nearby. Maybe hit the Shrine of Chance and then activate the teleporter. Like I was saying. Oh. Crowbar is nice, honestly. Okay, I got a bunch of those. I'm gonna activate this and bring him over here. Because the squids can actually do a lot of DPS if there's a lot of them. Even more ATGs. Let's go. I hope I can get some happier, ma happiest mask value, because it seems like there's like almost no ghost spawning at all. Ow! I mean, these dudes hurt. It hard. Oh, nice, I got a ghost. Hopefully it can pull its weight. Can I kill him? What? No, I guess I can't, because he's a ghost. Can't really kill a ghost, I guess. Alright. I haven't even entered God Run territory. I'm still sort of just like barely killing stuff. And that's a golems. Yep. This is probably going to be the end of the run. Which sucks. Honestly. Maybe it won't be because I managed to survive through a greater wisp run. Or a greater. Yeah, greater wisp. Oh, greater wisp. Uh, greater risk. It's just, damn. These guys. See if I can not die to these guys. Oh yeah, I can make them friendly fire. That's gonna be my saving grace. Is the fact that they can shoot each other. <laughs> you can make them do that. Make a, uh, ask them if they're happy and they know it. 
so that they clap their hands. That's a lot of little exploity mines. Hey dude. Good, how you doing? Yeah. Nice. I was just doing some gaming. Uh, Risk of Rain 2. Just sorta. Myself. Yeah. I'm playing on like the hardest difficulty and stuff, trying to. Yeah. 